Hello everyone, Teacher Josie here. Welcome to my channel. For today, we are going to discuss sex-related inheritance, such as sex-linked genes, sex-influenced traits, and sex-limited traits. This video focuses on achieving this learning competency, explain the different non-Mendelian patterns of inheritance. After going through this video, you are expected to determine the probability of having a male and female gender, explain the sex link, sex influence trait, and sex limited traits. Let's get started. Before we proceed, let us start with unlocking difficulties. These are the terms that you will encounter all throughout the lessons. Chromosomes are thread-like structures located inside the nucleus of animal and plant cells. Each chromosome is made up of protein and a single molecule of deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. Offspring In biology, Offspring are the young of living organisms, produced either by a single organism or in the case of sexual reproduction of two organisms. Autosomal, which means that they are not found on the X and Y chromosomes. Hemophilia is usually an inherited bleeding disorder in which the blood does not clot properly. Let's get started on sex chromosomes. Most humans have an X and Y determination that is responsible for the gender characterization of an individual. Sex chromosomes control whether the organism will be a male or a female. In each cell, humans have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes for both males and females. 22 pairs are autosomal chromosomes. The 23rd pair consists of sex chromosomes. A male chromosome has a non-identical sex chromosomes of X and Y, while female has an identical chromosomes of XX. How is sex determined and inherited? When an egg is fertilized by a sperm with a Y chromosome, the offspring is male. When an egg is fertilized by a sperm carrying an X chromosome, the offspring is female. Therefore, there is a 50% probability of having a male and a female offspring. Most of the time, more men in comparison to women are bald while lactation or milk production is common in women, but certainly not in men. These are inherited characteristics determined by sex. The following are the three kinds of sex-related inheritance, namely sex-linked genes, sex-influenced traits, and sex-limited traits. Sex-linked genes are genes found either on X or Y chromosomes which are inherited differences among male and a female. Sex-linked traits determined by an X-linked gene when an X chromosome takes control. On the other hand, the so-called Y-linked genes are those located on the Y chromosome. Hemophilia, an example of an excellent trait, is a rare genetic disorder in which a person lacks enough blood clotting proteins caused by a change in one of the genes. Let's have an example. A carrier mother and a father without hemophilia. A father without hemophilia XY mated to a mother carrier for hemophilia gene X. X. A red X chromosome caused the disorder of hemophilia. The zygote form are a son without hemophilia, a daughter carrier for hemophilia gene, a son has hemophilia, 
and a daughter does not carry hemophilia gene. In a Punnett square, you have XY, a normal male, XX, normal female, XX with red X chromosome that cause the disorder means female carrier and XY, male with hemophilia. Since this phenomenon is cited on the X chromosome, females identified to have affected two X chromosomes cause the disorder. But if there is only one chromosome affected, the female individual is referred to as carrier of the disorder. Color blindness is another condition of the X-linked trait. These traits will be manifested in females who have two genes of color blindness. Meanwhile, in males, there is only one gene of the disorder needed to express the phenomenon. XX means normal female. XXC, normal female, but it is a carrier of the gene. XC, XC, color blind female. XY, normal male. XCY, color blind male. A color vision deficiency is the inability to distinguish certain shades of color. The term color blindness is also used to describe this visual condition, but very few people are completely color blind. Let's have an example. A father not color blind mated to a mother which is a carrier of color blindness. The result are a female not color blind. X, XC means female carrier. XY, male not color blind. XCY, male color blind. Another example, a father which is color blind and a mother is a carrier. The result is X, XC, female carrier. XC, XC, female colorblind. XY, male, not colorblind. XC, Y, male, colorblind. Did you understand now? Let's proceed. Hypertrichosis pinae oris. The word hypertrichosis is derived from hyper, that means over excess or more than normal, and trichosis that refers to any abnormal condition of hair growth. Thus, hypertrichosis is a condition characterized by the excessive growth of hair and its thickness in a particular area of the body, which is not considered normal for the age, sex, or ethnicity of an individual. Since the only human who have Y chromosome are males, y link traits are passed only from father to son. Next, sex-limited trait. It is generally autosomal, which means that they are not found on the X or Y chromosomes. Sex-limited traits are those traits limited to only one sex. Example, Sex-limited traits are expressed only in one gender, for instance, lactation is expressed in females but never in males. Another examples of sex-limited trait are beard growth is normally limited to male, fans of the male pickup. Next, sex influence traits. Sex influence traits are autosomal traits that are expressed in both sexes but more frequently in one than in the other sex. One classic example of this is pattern baldness, 
which is expressed in females but is more often manifested in males. The gene has two alleles, bulb, a capital letter B, and non-bulb, small letter B. And these genes are highly influenced by the hormones individually. We know that all humans have testosterone, but males have higher level of testosterone than females do. This shows that although baldness alleles such as X, capital letter B, Y, capital letter B, X, capital letter B, and Y, smaller B, or X, capital letter B, X, capital letter B, behave like a dominant allele in males. They are recessive in females, X, capital letter B, X, smaller B, X, X, smaller B. We have here a genotypes and phenotypes of human baldness. X with a capital letter B and X with a smaller B is female normal. X with smaller B, X smaller B means female is bald. X with a capital letter B and Y, male normal. X with a smaller B and Y means male bulb. So if we are going to use a Punnett square, male bulb is mated to female normal. The zygote are 25% female normal, 25% male normal, 25% female bulb, and 25% male bulb. To sum up, in each cell, humans have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes for both males and females. 22 pairs are autosomal chromosomes. The 23rd pair consists of sex chromosomes. When an egg is fertilized by a sperm with a Y chromosome, the offspring is male. When an egg is fertilized by a sperm carrying an X chromosome, the offspring is female. The three kinds of sex-related inheritance are sex-linked genes, which are genes found either on X or Y chromosomes, which are inherited differences among male and female. Sex-limited trait, it is generally autosomal, which means that they are not found on the X or Y chromosomes. Sex-limited traits are those traits limited to only one sex. Sex-influenced traits are autosomal traits that are expressed in both sexes but more frequently in one than in the other sex. Did you understand now? Let's check your understanding. What type of sex-related inheritance is observed from the picture? A. Sex-linked genes B. Sex-limited traits and C. Sex-influenced traits Comment below if you know your answer. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. That's all for today. Goodbye!